What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Chain Chomp from Super Mario. Now we want to begin today's lesson at the very top of our page and draw a large circle for the head. We leave a large gap on the left side for the mouth. Let's start on the top left. So we're going to slowly work our way around the top of the head. Just bring that down towards the right side. And we want to come down and over towards the left. Towards the bottom left of the head. So come down, go across, and then out. Let's go back up to the top. We're going to curve the top edge of the mouth going across and then down towards the center of our circle. Across, and bring that down to right about there. Let's curve the bottom of the mouth, coming down, and then out. Now in this area, we're gonna draw a circle for the eye, starting from the very top, go all the way around, Let's draw a smaller circle in the center of the eye for the pupil. Let's add a smaller circle along the top for a highlight. And then we'll fill the bottom of the pupil in black. Now let's draw the top row of teeth. Starting from this point, it's going to angle this down and forward towards the left. Angle this back up towards the top of the mouth. Let's add another tooth, going straight down, then just angle that back in. Let's add one more tooth along the inside, so we go a little bit smaller, and just pull that in towards the corner of the mouth. Now let's add the bottom row of teeth, starting from the bottom corner, angle this up and in, come down towards the bottom, let's add another tooth, going up. Bring that down. And I add a small tooth along the inside. Now you want to go back and add a thick edge along the right side of the teeth. Starting from the left side, and it's down the short line. Just tuck that up along the top. Do the same thing to the second tooth, going all the way up, then again on the inside. Let's do the same thing along the bottom row. Just flattening off the end, coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now the teeth are going to wrap around the bottom of the jaw. So let's start back over on the left side and draw the back tooth going up and just tuck that in towards the side. Now you want to wrap the mouth around the outside and come back in along the back. So let's start from the inside of this tooth. Bend this in and then down in behind that second tooth. Come all the way down towards the bottom. Now we can draw the back side of the mouth along the bottom with a small curve going across. And it will fill the inside of the mouth in black. I'm going to add some more teeth on the back side of the mouth. Let's go in between these two teeth, going up and then down. And then we'll add two more teeth on the back. Start from the top, come down, and back up. We'll add one more across the bottom. Now with the head in place, let's move down and draw the base of the chain. Along the bottom right, we're going to draw two straight angled lines. One on the bottom, one on the top. Let's close off the ends with a curve, going across and then up. Now we're going to alternate the direction of the links going all the way down towards the bottom. Let's start along the top with two straight angled lines, coming down. Now you want to close off the end with a curve, almost like a half circle. Now you want to wrap the second link around. Let's start from the bottom, draw a short angle line coming down in an angle. Let's go up to the top. Straight line, come down towards the bottom. Now we're going to overlap another link on top. So we're going to draw two short angle lines going in, connect the ends with that half circle. 
Now we can draw that same link coming down towards the left. Let's start from these two points. Come down on the angle to right about there. And close off the end with that half circle. Now you want to trace the outside of this link and round out the corners. So we're going to step over, draw a straight line going up, round out the corner, and just tuck that in along the top. Line this up over on the right, go all the way around towards the bottom. It's going to work away along the bottom of that link. Let's change the direction of this link. We're going to start at the top, go straight out, come down with that short line. Line this up along the bottom, come down, go in, and just tuck that up underneath. Now on the left side, connect those ends with that half circle. Let's extend these two points across the top and bottom of the link. And we'll close off the end. Now let's trace out the inside link. Now we start to angle this back down. Starting from the top left and down. And right. Two short lines going in. And round up the top. Angle that and then coming down towards the bottom. And then we'll close this off. Let's go back and just round up that top link. Now we start to bring those links back in towards the center of our page. Let's we'll start from the top, come down an angle, line up the top, let's work our way down towards the bottom, round up the link, and it's down toward the bottom of our page. Let's go back and trace out that top link, just tucking that in behind. Now you want to anchor this chain to the ground. So let's start with a loop, starting on the left, curve this out and down, line this up over on the right, going out and then down. Let's round out the bottom, two curves. Now you want to connect the ends with a half circle going in behind the link, continuing out and down on the right side. Let's draw an oval in behind that bottom link, starting over on the left, and go out, come across the middle, towards the right, and then back in. And I want to continue this oval along the inside. Let's add a thick bevel along the bottom from the side of the oval, draw two straight lines coming down. And we'll connect the ends with that same curve. And then we'll surround the bottom with some cracks. Let's start on the left. So I'm going to add some angled lines going across over towards the right. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Chain Chomp from Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.